Hello everyone, my name is Lily and nice to meet you again. Today presenting is about geometry. Are you ready? Let's start. First is about types of polygons. There are lots of polygons. Some of them we know is triangle, quadrilaterals, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. Those are polygons. And non-polygons are these. Because, why is it non-polygons? Because it has curved sides. And, and here are some fun facts to you. The non-poly the polygons do not have curved sides or cross sides. No, it's easy to have them. And they did not open like this. They just touch such like this. They didn't op open the parts like this, like a roof of a house. It's just like a triangle, okay? So these are non-polygons. Why? Because this has a curved size. Curved size is not a polygon. And this is has this have an open uh, open size. So it's not it's even a polygon. Rectangular area and perimeter. Rectangular area. What is that? Area is length of the triangle times width. Here is my triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven in the width. And one, two, three. Three in the length. Let's see. Area equal seven times three. Area is 21 square units. Makes it rectangular perimeter. Perimeter is add up all the side length. Like this. Three is... 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3. Perimeter equals 7 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3. Perimeter is equal 20 units. Classifying quadri quadrilaterals. What is quadrilaterals? It's four size polygons, and all the sides are straight. They do not cross or curve. Huh? Two dimensional large. See, here is a fact to you. Dimensional, we usually call two dimensionals, we usually call 2D. Okay, you could say it like 2D. Yeah, be in front of says that's long words. Okay. And it has closed shapes. Here is some of the rectangle where parallelogram, rhombus, and trapezoid. All of the quadrilaterals. Congruent polygons. If you need the same size, a same shape, a same area, and a same perimeter. Here, look. Those are different. Those are um, quite different when it look like this, look like this, it look like this, right? But those are still rectangles. So, is it congruent? And congruent polygons usually don't need to be set. This one is stand like this. Don't, we don't need uh, two others to stand like this. It can be left, it can be right, it can be straight. Okay, so it's, near, it's done this and congruent of the top. And we just need a congruence of number. Like, hmm, there are four at here and three at here. Four at, three at here and four at here. They are just normal. Okay. Areas four times three equal equal 12 square units. And remember, 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 equal 14 units. All that means today is end at this lesson. This last lesson. Hope you like this topic and learn more about geomatic in math. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening and watching as um, to see help me learn some ideas. Hope you Hope you will to take some other of my presenting. Bye-bye. Have a great day, everyone.